Hello and welcome back to Culinary Haven. Today I would like to share with you one of my family's favorite dishes, a recipe that I simply named Courgette Patties. May not be the catchiest name, but don't judge the book by its cover. They're delicious, they're colorful, and they're versatile. You can have them either hot or cold or even sliced and used as a sandwich. Let's begin. To make culinary haven courgette patties, we'll need three medium size, I call them medium size, courgettes, this big, one pointy sweet pepper, half a pack, about 75 grams, normally a pack of baby corn is 150 grams, half of it, two or one chili or jalapeno, a small bunch, which will make a bigger bunch of three herbs, dill, parsley and coriander together mix one nice bunch a bunch of spring onions about four or five sprigs two tablespoons of grated parmesan cheese two tablespoons of mayonnaise three eggs a hundred grams of plain flour and some salt and black pepper we'll also need a box grater a large bowl and plenty of good quality paper napkins or kitchen towels. Why? Because we need to grate the courgettes and then squeeze out all the excess liquid from them. And also some cooking oil and some deep frying pan. The dish is not difficult to make at all. We'll just have to grate the courgettes and then chop the rest of the ingredients on a larger side of the box grater, just grate them all. And the last one, it doesn't take long. That's it. Now we're going to put that aside and just chop the rest of the vegetables and put each ingredient into a separate bowl. Sharp knife and chop it into small squares. So cut it in half lengthwise, then in half again, and then into thin strips, and then across into small, tiny little cubes. That's it, into a bowl. There's a reason why we chop each ingredient and put it into a separate bowl. You'll see. Chop the spring onions, finely chopped. So I would advise you to chop the chilies last because you will have to wash your hands after you've done that because they're hot and they burn your hands a little bit. And unless you're wearing gloves when you handle uh, chilies, it's best to wash your hands after you chop them. And now the baby corn, cut it in half. In three and into small pieces. Back into the bowl. The herbs as finely as you can. It's like a one big bunch and made out of three small bunches. Dill, parsley and coriander. They're just an excellent combination of herbs. Each has its unique uh, flavor and they're really pairing well with each other. So, into the bowl. And lastly, the chilies. Take the seeds out. It seems like a lot uh, to the chilies for this amount of uh, other ingredients to mix with, but it's I don't know, maybe it's the frying it just makes it nicely hot. It will not burn your mouth or anything like that, even if you're um, using two. But if you're worried about that, just use one. And chop them exactly like the large pepper. In half, then into thin strips, and then across into tiny pieces. into the bowl 
and now go and wash your hands with cold water and now everything is chopped and everything is ready now we're going to prepare our patty mixture so what we do now is we take a, a napkin or a kitchen towel and take a handful of the grated courgettes zucchini is they're called in other countries and just squeeze it all the excess liquid into a bowl and put them in a layer into the bowl a handful of courgettes just so it's comfortable for you to, to handle and uh, squeeze it all the water into the bowl next we are a little bit of salt and by little i mean just a tiny sprinkle a little bit of black pepper a little bit of chilies, sweet pepper, baby corn, spring onions, herbs, just a pinch, grated parmesan reggiano, and a little bit of flame flour. A spoon. And now continue doing this until you run out of stuff. What I'm saying is layer all the ingredients. It will be much easier to mix later. So on top of the flour, again, a layer of courgette, squeezed courgette. Squeeze the uh, water out as firmly as you can because you don't want too much moisture in this mixture because it will be moist enough. For example, if you don't fry them all today, you can put the rest in the fridge and say tomorrow you fry the rest of them there will be plenty of water in the bowl just carefully pour the water out but you have to do that don't skip that or it will be the mixture will be too watery and it will just not work I can't even tell you how much parmesan in here in weight it's just it can't be even uh, it can't be weighed at probably one gram, just two tablespoons, but it's actually optional. You don't have to add the parmesan. And now the last portion of the courgettes. They look like they're just dry now. They're not. They still retain plenty of moisture. Again, a little bit of salt, black pepper, the remaining chilies, sweet pepper, herbs, the spring onion corn, cheese, and the flour. And what we do now is, with a fork, we'll just toss it, all the ingredients, so they're coated thinly with the flour. I'm guessing you're just looking now and thinking, what is this here? It's like a salad. <laughs> Why did we do it this way? Because if you put everything into a bowl without layering the ingredients and because there is so much moisture and also flour that we add there we might end up having just blobs of wet flour or just one uh, single ingredient um, in a patty doing it this way layering them gradually just ensures that we'll have all the ingredients equally mixed in this lovely mixture and the last step in the preparation of our mixture is we're going to whisk the eggs with this a little bit of a mayonnaise to bind the mixture so I'll just scoop out and fry our patties into a bowl Two tablespoons. Why mayonnaise? It's made with eggs and has the acidity, the sharpness that we need in the mixture and also they just work really well together. Eggs and mayonnaise. And now we're going to add the egg and mayonnaise mixture into our bowl and mix it all thoroughly. So just pour it in, mix it all together. This is the exact amount of everything you will need. Don't think you need more eggs or more 
mayonnaise or anything. This is just the right amount. Everything. That's it. Nice. Now it's ready to fry. In a frying pan, preheat a generous amount of oil. Any cooking oil. Canola, sunflower oil, groundnut oil. It has to be at least half an inch of oil in, in the pan. And the reason being is that uh, some people think that if you put a lot of oil it will make the dish or whatever is fried saturated in, in oil. It's actually the opposite because in a large amount of oil when you fry things it creates a um, coating like crust that prevents the patty for example from going soggy and from saturating with fat so a lot of fat actually makes it less soggy and it will make it crusty on the outside and nice and soft and fluffy inside so it takes about five minutes to preheat this amount of oil just this amount with a tablespoon measure just drop them in don't overcrowd them but this pan is not large and I'm going to put five definitely actually one more and once the oil is hot turn it to medium and cook it on each side for five to six minutes and if you see that some little bits came off just put it back on top it's fine no problem there see they're not splitting they're not spreading they're just frying nicely and now it's time to turn them over look at them looking absolutely fabulous aren't they and again say five and a half to six minutes on the other side Here we are, they are ready. Fried on both sides and now we'll just fish them out and let them cool on a paper towel lined plate. It takes that long to make sure that they're not only beautiful on the outside but also cooked through because they are very thick and substantial. There you go. On to the next batch. A spoonful. Drop them in carefully. The oil is very hot and there's plenty of it so make sure it's not splashing. Drop them in gently. I don't have too much left. So there'll be one more batch after. Five minutes, five and a half minutes. Now turn them over. Look at them. another five and a half minutes and the second batch is ready to come out brown perfectly cooked and the last that's them all done and today I'm serving them with homemade tomato and roasted peppers dip and orange dip I just want to show you on the close-up what they look like so if you can hear them crunchy on the outside and absolutely beautiful inside so like I said you can have them either hot and crunchy on the outside when they're just made with lovely dips or you can have them tomorrow when they're cold slice them and put them on top of your sandwich and just as a layer uh, um, in a sandwich or just on its own they're delicious either hot or cold thank you for watching this episode of culinary haven if you have any questions or suggestions just drop us a line in the comments below we will respond promptly we always do and until next time bye Thank you.